Today we will have a look at what are higher order derivatives. Now to understand higher order derivatives, we should first understand some basic important concepts. Now what is derivative of y with respect to x? We call it as dy by dx, right? Now what if we differentiate dy by dx again with respect to x? The term which we will get is d square y upon dx square. That is what we call as second order derivative. Now if we differentiate it again, we will get the third order derivative and so on. Now another important concept, if we differentiate sin theta with respect to theta, the term which we will get is cos theta. If we differentiate tan theta with respect to x, the term which we will get is sec theta. But there will be an extra term that is d theta by dx because we have differentiated it with respect to x and not with respect to theta. Okay, so with this concept, we can move over to our questions. The question states it is 2x raised to 5 minus 4x cube minus 2 by x square minus 9. We have to find its second order derivative. Now we'll consider the equation to be y. We'll differentiate both the sides normally as we do. So the first derivative or the first order derivative will be 10x raised to 4 minus 12x square plus 4 into x raised to minus 3. We'll differentiate it again with respect to x. So that will be the second order derivative. And hence the answer is 40x cubed minus 24x minus 12 by x raised to 4. Now we will look at the second order derivatives in the questions which are based on uv rule. Now we have y is equal to e raised to 4x into cos 5x. Now if we differentiate both sides with respect to x, what we will get by uv rule dy by dx is equal to e raised to 4x into derivative of cos 5x plus cos 5x into derivative of e raised to 4x. Now it is e raised to 4x derivative of cos is minus sin 5x into derivative of 5x which is 5. In the same way the chain rule on the next term that is cos 5x into the derivative of e raised to 4x is e raised to 4x into derivative of 4x which is 4. Hence, simplifying, I'll get the first order derivative. Now, we have to differentiate this term again with respect to x. So, we'll have to use the uv rule again. We have e raised to 4x into derivative of that bracket plus the bracket into derivative of e raised to 4x. Now, again, differentiating the brackets, applying the chain rule and solving it further, you'll get an equation like this. Now I can take e raised to 4x common from the complete equation. So once we take e raised to 4x common, the bracket will contain minus 9 cos 5x minus 40 sin 5x. I can take minus sign outside the bracket and that will be the answer for the second order derivative. Now these were some easy questions. Now we will look at a question which is parametric in form. We have x and y and theta is the parameter and we have to find the second order derivative of this term that is d square y upon dx square at theta is equal to pi by 2. Now we have taken y, we have differentiated with respect to theta, we got our equation 1. Now we differentiate x with respect to theta, we got our equation 2 and by dividing both of them we got our value dy by dx. So dy by dx is 3 sin square theta. Now is an important part. Now if we differentiate it with respect to x, remember we are differentiating now with respect to x and not with respect to theta. But our equation is in terms of theta. So the left hand side will be d square y upon dx square. Whereas the right hand side, the derivative of sin square is 2 sin theta into derivative of sin theta. And what is derivative of sin theta? It's cos theta but we are differentiating with respect to x so there will be an extra term that is d theta by dx derivative of theta 
Now, what is d theta by dx? If you look at equation 2, we have its value already. Equation 2 is dx by d theta. Just taking its reciprocal, we will get d theta by dx as well. So, substituting that value from equation 2 and simplifying, I will get the second order derivative as 6 sin theta. Now, we know the value of theta as well. So, substituting that value of theta and simplifying, I will get the value of the second order derivative at theta is equal to pi by 2 as 6. Now, the next question. We have y is equal to e raised to m tan inverse x. m is a constant term. Then we have to show that 1 plus x square d square y upon dx square plus 2x minus m into dy by dx is equal to 0. Okay. Now, we'll start with differentiating it for the first time. Now, dy by dx what is derivative of e raised to x? It's e raised to x. So, e raised to m tan inverse x will be the same. But by chain rule, we'll have a derivative of m tan inverse x. Now, m is a constant. So, that will come out of the derivative. And derivative of tan inverse x is 1 upon 1 plus x square. Now, the term which is in the denominator, that is 1 plus x square, we will cross multiply it and it will go to the left hand side. Now, the term e raised to m tan inverse x is nothing but the question itself. So, we will substitute that as equal to y. Now, we will differentiate it again. This time on the left hand side, we have uv rule, right? The first term is 1 plus x square. The second term is dy by dx. So, differentiating them. 1 plus x square, derivative of dy by dx is d square y upon dx square plus dy by dx into derivative of 1 plus x square is equal to m into derivative of y is dy by dx. Now, what is derivative of 1 plus x square? It's 2x. Rest of the terms remains the same. Now, we will take m dy by dx on the left hand side and then dy by dx common from the last two terms. I will get the required answer. Now, these are the questions which you have to try on your own. There are some hints provided to help you out.